Another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna play another standard event try and farm some packs and gems and today we are going to play Orsov, Orsov lifelink this is a deck archetype that I got asked to make in the comments quite a bit in my videos but I never really got to do it so we're doing it today with that being said let's go straight to the deck list Okay, so these are the cards we're gonna play today, and there's some new cards here that I'd like to- These are already new, why am I changing the pile? You, and we also have you, and also of course new lands, but we can keep the lands over here. So, first of all, we have the Case of the Uneaten Feast. It's a one-man enchantment case, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life, and you solve it if you gain five or more life in one turn. And uh, when you solve it, you can sacrifice it and creature cards in your graveyard gain. You may cast this card from the graveyard until end of turn. I think this card is absolutely bonkers. Uh, it works really well together with, you know, uh, the Ela Sadistic Pilgrim and also Lunar Gutteran to essentially pump our Amalia and Voice of the Blast. And the next card is going to be a Long Goodbye, which I've probably used quite a bit already. It's a 2 mana instant. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value 3 or less. This spell can't be countered, so yeah. Rafine and all these ward creatures and, you know, the djinn can essentially go away. Then we have a really, really interesting card, the Delny Streetwise Lookout. It's a 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. Creatures you control with power 2 or less can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. If an ability of a creature you control with power 2 or less triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So that means that Elas <laughs> 2 triggers twice, Lunar Veteran triggers twice, and Amalia and Voice of the Blessed triggers twice the first time. So then they're gonna be too big. And not only that, uh, together with Roman Thrones having multiple triggers of these two, I mean, it is really, really fun. And finally, it's gonna also trigger this card, which is a new one, called Tomic Wilder of Law. It's a 3 mana 2 for affinity for planeswalkers, flying, and vigilance. Whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more of those creatures are attacking you and or planeswalkers you control, that opponent loses three life and you draw a card. So if you have this plus, you know, Roaming Throne or Delny, I mean, you can deal a lot of damage and you can draw a lot of cards. I think this card is absolutely bonkers as well. Then we also play Shadowy Backstreet. I was not 100% in on these lands, but the more I play with them, the more I like them. So yeah, that is essentially the deck. Let's go ahead and play a standard event. All right, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps the video out. And if you enjoy my content, please like the video. It does help the algorithm on YouTube quite a bit. And yeah, let's start the first game. Okay, we get to go first and this hand is uh, it's not too bad. We have some removal, we have the veteran, we have the case. I mean, come on, against Dervis. So let's go ahead and scry, try to find something good. That is pretty good. <laughs> well, given his sleeves, yeah, it could not be anything else besides one red. Kamano, best one drop so far still, I believe. Uh, so let's put this at a cleric. And let's put you out and also Lunark veteran. And the next turn we can play Amalia and get double triggers. Alright, so we already gained the life back that he dealt. You know, Dervis is loving it. So what do you have for your turn to play? Phoenix Chick, the worst one drop him on red, but still better than anything else he can play. And there goes my veteran. It's fine. It's fine. And we get... Ooh, that's pretty good. I mean, how is he going to get past this one? Four toughness is really sweet. So yeah, gain a life. I love it. So what are you going to do, Dervis? Derby Dervis. Three mana, do you have your... Uh... Yes, he does. Godric's out to play. I mean, hopefully attacks all. Cause... Oh, nice. Give me a card. Thank you. Let's get rid of the etching of Kumano. Opponent's a bit aggressive. That's pretty good. So you can play you out first and then Amalia. And gain, uh, you know, three life. You know the opponent loves it. Try to find some land here, too. Uh, we don't need you. Next. Hey, we got land. So now we can hold uh, Elspeth's Might. Attack. I mean, this deck is primarily against, you know, Mon Red and Aggro decks. We should be able to handle them, especially on the play. Squee, huh? Sure. 
Well, if he has a monstrous rage, this is gonna suck, but at least let's go for it before the token is made. Thank you. And you can see the opponent is down to 12 already. He's taken 6 damage from our Tomek. So do you have it? Nope. I love it. Uh, so I guess we put you here and you here. I'm sure he has a, probably a Monstrous Rage or a Play With Fire. Because they had it, he didn't want to save the Godric. He really wanted Tomek on, huh? Sure, well, I drew another one, so who cares? Uh, yeah, I think we go with you. If we get a land, we can then play out. Actually, let's go with you, actually. <laughs> let's get a lot of life. Uh, no. Thank you. <laughs> Another one? What? Hey, there's a land. And now we can hold removal. Actually, let's play out the veteran. Gain some more life. Let's gain three more life. <laughs> Make my wall yeah, even bigger. Nice. <laughs> nice. Two mercs in a row. And two uh, Delnys in a row. That's kind of strange. Well, your turn opponent, you had 5 life and we're at 18. And we can now sacrifice this and uh, play all the creatures we have in the graveyard. I will hear no comments saying that the case is bad. The case is insanely good. Okay, so he's played out everything. I think it's over and again. I have the high ground. Yep. Good start, good start. Alright, we get to go first, and again, the hand looks so good. Case, Lunar Veteran, Amalia, Tomic, I mean, sign me up, baby, against Bose, Manny Ray. Okay. Fine, whenever you're ready, bro. One eternity later. Alright. Let's get our case out first. So, so we can gain life of the uh, of the Lunar Veteran, enter the battlefield with the case out. So, Bose, Manny Ray, what are you playing, bruh? Bruh. So it's being very slow. Oh well, should I be surprised? <laughs> Another Monroe player. Luckily we're on the play again, so... And again he has Kumon on turn 1, which is really good. So I think we go with you, and we play out our shadowy backstreet and trying to... You know, survey a little bit. Uh, that's pretty good. That's very good against a Monroe player, I think. So for each creature we're gonna gain 2 life now, so he should deal with the Lunarok Veteran. But then he doesn't get the benefit of the Kamano. So yeah, we're gonna keep the veteran. It's really cool. Sure. I'll take that. My turn. So what should we put the cavern on? I don't know. I mean maybe we don't need cavern anymore because of uh Mono Blue is essentially dead. Uh we could put this on vampire. Play you out. And now we have white mana for the Elder Smite. Uh, hmm. No, we can play that from the graveyard. It's better to just get rid of it. And land. Good. Might as well attack. I'm not gonna block with the veteran anyway. It's too, it's too strong. Show me what you got, Bose Manta Ray. Do you have your Godric? He sure likes to take his time. Alright, Scoundrel is out. It's not really that dangerous. Alright, so he's gonna make Etching strong enough to be able to trade with my Maul, yeah. Zenvot. Come on, okay, so it's tapped out. So, no risk for Monster's Rage. I would have played... Uh, it's fine. So we shoot, obviously, the Kamano. <laughs> Funny. And uh, we just block the Charm Scoundrel. Eat it for free. I mean, you might wonder why the opponent plays the way he does, but he's on... He, he, the stress levels are big for the opponent here. He, he can't handle on gaining two life for every card I'm playing. Thank you. The throne is really good. Oh, I love it. We can actually attack here. Hopefully attacks with both his Kamano and his adversary. Deal 3 damage, we get to draw a card. Tomic is such a chant. Check, huh? Sure, whatever. Bring it on. What 
Oh, he's gonna activate. Aha! Sure. I mean, it's funny. He's at 14 life and we're at 16. Takes three damage. Thank you. It's tapped out. I can get rid of the Phoenix Chick. Honestly, we could have gotten rid of the land, but it's fine. You're ready to see some life? Have a cleric. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll keep that. That's gonna be nice. Oh, you said <laughs> the opponent's had enough. Okay, this is the worst hand so far, but I think we can still work with it, I believe. Lunar Veteran, hopefully we draw ourselves an Amalia against J. Gabriel Lopez. Sure, whenever you're ready. Man, people are slow as shit today. All right, finally, let's get our veteran out. And what do you play? Mono white, huh? Case, okay, so wow, mirror. It's not bad, two Merixes. Okay. You might wonder why I play Merix, and that's because when we have, you know, Lunar Veteran and everything that gains us life, it's nice to just make tokens every turn, gaining get bigger and bigger. Okay. Uh, Tomic out. I'm sure he has a, a jail. Uh, ossification ready, but it's fine. Your turn. We need some removals here. If we may. Some smites would be nice. Oh god. Yeah, I still think that even though it's um, mono red is pretty prevalent, the Celestian Enchantment is the strongest aggro deck. I really believe that. Sure. Okay, that's pretty good. We can play out the case and Elas, but I think Throne is probably better. You know, actually put this in human and we can draw a lot of... We need to find removal, right? So put the human on this. It's not human, sadly. <laughs> Why would it be? And um, we'll still get to life here because the veteran is a human cleric. We attack here. And yeah, hopefully we find some removal. But if the opponent is as explosive as his... Oh god, here's Kallax. Sure, for two mana, because the Duke and Agilist, we couldn't deal with it. Then what? Alright, great. And he has one mana to pump <laughs> with Weaver. Sure! <sighs> great, 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 great. When we get to draw a card here, it seems like he wants to attack with both Duke and Naturalist. Yeah, copy it, copy it, please. Man. Feels pretty bad. Feels pretty shit. Luckily, the Naturalist does not have Trample. We get to draw two cards here, though. Crap. Uh, it's a bit too late. <laughs> I needed that a long time ago. So either we block with Tomic or Blake with Lunark Veteran. Doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure we're dead. I do want to see what we're going to draw, though, because, I mean, the deck is fun. We'll take 11 here. Ow. Well, we only have two white sources, so these Mirixes are actually kind of fucking us a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do. He's gonna double the stupid... Man, we can't enjoy this deck because the stupid rotation doesn't exist. There are all the cards here besides Calyx should be removed. And of course the case that I'm playing, the case is cool. But man, this is so boring. Golly, dude. Uh. We will keep, we will stop rotation to keep standard more fresh. The dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, now we can really do it. We can play you out, but we picked human on Roaming Thrones. We're not getting double with uh, ALS. It's fine. It's fine. Let's play you out and concede. I mean, we'll do something else. Hopefully it'll go better. Well, this hand is sketchy, but I think we still keep it. We don't have any life linking. We have 10 cards, or wait, 13 cards that gives life when something enters. Uh, but, so I'm sure we're gonna draw it, right? Against Hori, Horiav. Sure. Can't complain of being on the play, because we've been on play for once more than we've been on the draw. So let's do this. This is the only time we'll be able to cast it, thanks to Mirix. So we're playing against some weird... Poison deck, who knows? Well, at least it doesn't attack. Uh, I think we do want the Delny. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, Roman Throne is not going to trigger anything else. And Delny does the same thing. And we can attack with the Voice of the Blessed. Delny is such a cool card. I'm very happy we have it. That plus Roaming Throne. I mean, come on, dude. So let's go ahead and attack whenever we have, you know, the allowance. Thank you. No block, huh? Nice. So what do you have? For two mana. Serum Snare, okay. Definitely. I guess this is the toxic players trying to <laughs> cheat, cheat some wins here with some cheap cards. Oh, he's definitely cheating some wins here. Alright, you know how bad it feels when you don't have... We shouldn't have kept the hand. No life leak. Like, I guess all the things against his life, they have like a number attached to them. And so <laughs> the deck made sure we didn't draw it today. Or this game, at least. Uh, I think we're just gonna go for a long goodbye. We could play Delny again, actually. Let's do that. Oh my god. I actually found the one person who plays Poison. He went... He, opponent, this was like... A new deck, like a couple, like almost a year ago. You're very late to the party. Okay, so I'm guessing he has like um, Smite here to get rid of my voice. Nope. <laughs> Man. Oh, I wish I was playing my ramp deck. Oh, hey, we can gain some life. That's really good. Um, I still think we kill. We should kill the veteran here, I believe, since he taps out. And then next turn we play a Lunar Veteran plus Delny, or if you get a land, Lunar Veteran and Roaming Throne. Alright, your go. Searing <laughs> Smith. Alright, it's gonna be Veteran and Amalia out. Sure, down to five. Uh, we can play you out. Cleric. Veteran plus Throne, I think. Hopefully it doesn't have another counter spell. It doesn't. Cleric, give me some life, baby. Thank you. Whenever you're ready, Horiev. <laughs> I guess that's it for the poison player. Uh, so you can play Delny at first, I think, and then Amalia. So then we get the double trigger from Amalia right away. Oh, you are such a bitch. <laughs> All right, well, let's draw. Well, hopefully we draw. Yay! Hooray! Oh, perfect. Scry? No, <laughs> that's enough lands. See how nice it would be to have the case now so we could, you know, <laughs> get some cards back. We have to close the game though, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully it takes the damage. Come on, hurry up. Sure's taking his sweet ass time. <laughs> Job was duelist, sure. Then what? Nothing. You're pretty good. Atomic. Tommy boy. Gain some life here. Uh, no. We don't need a second one of you. Uh, we can put them in the graveyard and play it. Get some more triggers. Still have the mana for Elspeth, which is nice. Ah, we don't need another Tomek. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like that. <laughs> and that's it. All right, all right. Nice. Okay, so the following games are going to be played at high speed because a lot of people have requested to see all the games in a standard event. So they're going to play at four times the speed and uh, my voice over will be removed. And we have some kick-ass music and then I'll talk to you at the end of the video. So with that being said, enjoy some magic games.
Um, all right, we got ourselves four wins. So I mean, we got a higher win <laughs> win percentage is better than the loss percentage, right? So we got a pack for you know 75 gems, which is not bad. So we're gonna talk about Amalia. I think this deck is really sweet. I think even like we lost the games, we couldn't find one of our 11 life gainers, which is fine. I mean. Either way, Delny and Tomic were amazing. Amalia, I mean, I'm, I'm, I kind of regret not playing Amalia earlier in the when she was released. She was better than I thought. Uh, yes, I really enjoyed the game. Yeah, and don't keep hands when you don't have the cards to give you life. Like it's interesting that in some games you just wouldn't draw it. Uh, but I think this can against on the play against Mon Red, you beat them very easily. On the draw, you still have a fighting chance against all the aggro decks. And currently. Aggro decks is the way to go in standard events because everyone's trying to farm a set. Uh, with that being said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and have a good fucking day.